All right, all right, I got a good one today. And I think it's a good one because pretty much everyone I know has 3 p.m. cravings. 3 p.m. cravings for Starbucks, for chips, to eat the house out if you're home, but usually you're in the office or you're driving around from appointment to appointment, yes? Um, or you're in your home appointment to appointment, you're on Zoom calls all day, and you're like, Jen, I don't know, three o'clock comes and I'm like, Dove bars. I've had people um, not do chocolate, but do candy. Um, others do chips. People don't typically want wine that time of day, but we do start to have cravings. We gotta have a Starbucks. Where's my soda pop? And I'm here to tell you, we can fix that and it's not tricky. All right. And, 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 and. I always say, always, always, if you love my stuff and you have not subscribed, I am always so grateful when I see that more people have joined my channel. It just means I get to touch more lives every Wednesday. All right, so there's a button somewhere. My video girl hooks me up with that. Please sign up if you love my stuff. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. What's going on, Deb, at 3 p.m.? <laughs> okay, so 3 p.m. isn't the issue. There's actually no issue with three o'clock in the afternoon, right? God didn't say at three o'clock, everyone's gonna have cravings. The issue is whatever you're doing earlier in the day is causing your blood sugar to be low and you're requiring something to bring you back up. So I want you to think of it in terms of blood sugar issues. Now, I don't know you, so I don't know if you eat breakfast. A lot of women, people who come see me, they don't like to eat breakfast, so they skip it. Cup of coffee, some water. I used to have someone that would drink pop. I don't recommend drinking pop in the morning, but coffee, pop, they both give you right a caffeine hit. So it's typically your morning. You're not eating protein. You're not stabilizing blood sugar in the morning. So it's, or you, you're like, oh gosh, and sometimes it's the first meal because I've been running around. And the problem is, or you, you skip lunch, but you ate breakfast. You're not stabilizing your blood sugar. And by that, I mean you're not eating protein-rich meals. Now, I have no problem with oatmeal. You like oatmeal, eat it. But I'm going to tell you there's not really any protein in oatmeal. So what's happening is, and if you like fruit in it, a little maple syrup, I've heard it all. What's happening is your blood sugar is swinging super high from eating a processed breakfast cereal, bagel. You eat nothing. Okay, fine. But your lunch better be protein and some vegetables, do you hear me? And something that stabilizes your blood sugar. Sweet potatoes, uh, brown rice and beans. People will eat, I'm just thinking of what I hear, like, oh, some pasta or um, avocado toast. I'm here to tell you avocado toast ain't gonna cut it, okay? Great, good fat and avocado, but your toast is refined flour and it's spiking your blood sugar. And so I'll say it again, the issue at three o'clock isn't three o'clock. It's that you haven't eaten enough. You don't have enough protein in you. And you have not stabilized your blood sugar, okay? And so it's swinging. Now, the other thing I want to mention, if you're like, ah, Jen, I do all that. And I still have problems at three. Great. Then I want you to know, I'm guessing that you're multitasking when you're eating. So you're either driving and eating, I get that one, or you're um, in between Zoom calls and you're shoving it in, or, or you're, you're on your phone, I get this, or you're typing and you're just eating something, and your body actually isn't processing what it's eating, true story. It's not processing it very well. It didn't register that you even ate what you ate, which is why a lot of times what happens is we overeat and we're looking for something sweet. I'll get to that another day. After a meal, and that's because we are not consciously eating. You consciously eat and chew your meal, which means you better like it. You will not have the same issues at three o'clock, guaranteed. And if you wake up, I usually don't eat right away, but I'll eat within about two hours, especially if I will have just worked out. Then I eat within 30 minutes of a workout, but I'll eat within about two hours or so of waking up. And I'll eat some eggs, some avocado, sometimes I'll throw in some tomato. I do not do a lot of um, carbohydrates in the morning. They personally slow me down. But I will, after a workout, have a smoothie. I'll put in some collagen powder. I'll have some frozen banana or some berries. I'll do that, and I don't do peanut butter, but I'll do some sunflower butter. Sometimes I'll throw in some spinach, yeah? Some cacao nibs. I mean, I make this mother delicious. I blend it up in water or oat milk. 
and, and it's got 20 grams of protein. And so what happens is it stabilizes my blood sugar and I do not have, do not have 3 p.m. cravings. And so if that's you, I would like you to try my two suggestions today and come back and report back and tell me that those little buggers at 3 p.m. disappeared, okay? Because they will pretty sure they will. And if they don't, well, then we need to work together because you've got stuff going on with your gut health, with your sleep. All right. And you've got some other stuff, but typically these two things get the job done. So hopefully that works for you. Thank you for being here. And gosh, I look forward to seeing you on another YouTube sesh with Jen Eden.